guys, Alex here, GuitarForce.com. So as you can see today, we're going to take a look at part one of The Stumble by Gary Moore. And actually this song was recorded originally by Freddie King, but then a lot of uh, other blues players and bands covered this, this song, this instrumental, including Peter Green, Steve Ray Vaughan, uh, Eric Clapton and Gary Moore as well. Uh, in this lesson we're going to take a look at Gary Moore's version and uh, this uh, lesson was requested and supported by a longtime supporter Tom so huge thanks goes out to him for the support and uh, like I mentioned this is going to be just the first part of the lesson uh, we're going to cover sort of the main uh, theme of the song of the instrumental the rest of the lesson uh, covering the whole instrumental is going to be available at guitarforce.com you can find the link in the description box down below I'm going to cover all three parts of the uh, song, plus the solo, which consists of three rounds of the 12 bar blues. So it's all going to be there. And also with the download, you're going to be getting the, um, all of the uh, tabs, the backing track. And later on, I might add the uh, playthrough of uh, this instrumental. So if you're interested, check out the link in the description box down below. Back to the lesson, we're going to be in standard tuning and uh, for the sound I was using the VST plugin guitar rig. I'm going to show you the presets that, was, that I was using for this lesson right now. While you're checking it out, I'm going to play you my low E string so you can tune up and play along with this lesson. Alright, so now let's go for the close up and start the lesson. Alright, so as usual, we're going to break up this song into parts. We're going to start off with the main sort of figure of the song, which goes like this. Alright, so here we start off uh, with uh, E major pentatonic scale. So two hammer-ons here on the D string and on the G, same frets, 9 to 11. Adding some vibrato to these notes, then we have bends on the G string, 11 frets, and we slide out, and then we hit the uh, double stop or the uh, triad here on the first three strings, 12 frets. So we have like that. Then we have the second part of this figure, which is. So here we're sliding on the D string into the 14th fret. Then we go to the G, 12, 14, bent up. And then we add the unison bend here. And as you do the unison bend, then bring it down, pull off, and then hammer on again. Then we have uh, 12 on the G with a slight bend. Then continue uh, the phrase. So, 14 on the D, 14 on the A, and then two times on the 12th on the D string. And then we add these two notes on the A string. And then in the end of the figure we have... This is a, a part of a, or E9 chord. But we don't play the whole chord, just kind of concentrating on the high strings and it's a short just a hit of the chord. All right, so that's the first part of uh, this figure. So one more time, slowly. All right, so then we play the second part of the figure, which goes like this. Alright, so here we play exactly the same thing as we did in the beginning. The only difference here, instead of the uh, bend on the G, 
G string 11th fret, you can play just the uh, 12th fret and slide out and then hit the uh, triad again. And then we have the second ending which goes like this. So here we go to the uh, this uh, position here between 7 and 9th frets. So we have on the D string. And again, as you bend the G string, then you can add the unison bend again. And that's the ending of this phrase. So one more time. So here, after we've played uh, this pull-off, then we have a triplet here, so a sliding back to the 7th fret, pull-off, 7 on the low E, then we have this rolling motion going on, uh, fretting two strings with one um, finger, so 7 on A, back to 7 on low E, and then we have another tr triplet. So 5 to 6, and then 2 times on the low E7 fret. And also, I just uh, forgot to mention that, uh, keep in mind that in this song, we use the shuffle rhythm, so it's not straight 8s, eight, eight, it's uh, the first one is longer, second one is shorter. So, one more, so this is the uh, whole figure of, uh, uh, the first figure of the song, so all together slowly it's going to go like this. Alright, so after this first main figure of the song, we go into the first break and it goes like this. Alright, so I'm going to stop right here, let's break it down. So the first part... So here we start off with a uh, uh, high E string 12th fret and we're bending B string on the 14th fret with a half step bend. So essentially it's like going like that, but we do it with the bend. So that's the first bar and then we have... So here we have triplets. So one more time. Then the next figure we have. One more time. And then we have the ending which is. So here we do just um, uh, on two strings, on uh, G and the D strings, and we have this uh, typical uh, blues ending. So we have the uh, minor third uh, double stop here, and we, we slide into the first note, then pick the G string, then D, then we move down chromatically, again picking the D string, G, uh, then again, like that. And the last note is slightly bent. So one more time this break, one more time goes like this, slowly. Alright, and then we have uh, another ending, uh, which goes like this. Alright, so here we're going to be using this, um, in this part we're going to be using the uh, sixes double stop. So the first one, 
on the G and the high E strings, 9th fret. We uh, pick this double stop, slide down two frets to the 7th fret. Then um, you can play the other uh, double stop here on the 3rd fret, but I'm doing it here, same uh, notes, same double stops, but uh, just playing it on the B and the D strings, because it's easier to stay in one position here. So it's going to be on the 8th fret, 2nd string and 4th string, B and the D, and we just, uh, from the 8th fret, we move down one fret. Uh, then we have open high E to the ninth fret. So we have so far like that. And then you can switch the positions and go here uh, to the third uh, and second position of the uh, first and third strings. We have so here we have a quick slide into the third fret down to the second, open, second fret, open, and then we have quick, so it's second fret, third, back to the second, then pull off to open, and then we finish off with the second fret on the D string, playing it two times. So all together, the, just these two bars are going to go like this slowly. And also we start off on the off beat, so we have one, and then on the two, we start playing the uh, the double stop. So these two bars slowly gonna go like this. Okay, and then we have uh, the the ending of this part. So it starts off with the B string open. Go into high E third fret with a slight bend, and then we play open string. Then we play the B string open again, and then we have so on the G string from the third fret down to second, pull off to open, second fret on the D, and then we have two on the G, two on the D, and then. Grace note, quick hammer on from open to the first fret on the G string, and then second fret on D, and then second fret on the A string two times. So, kind of creating the E chord like that. So, this part slowly. All right, so now both uh, parts with the sixes. Uh, I'm gonna go like this. I'm, I'm gonna play it through because we're gonna use these uh, sixes in uh, the uh, next parts as well. So all together is gonna go like this. Alright guys, so that was it for this part. I hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to continue learning the whole instrument, I'll check out the link in the description box down below. Thank you very much for watching. Comment, share, subscribe if you are new to my channel. Don't forget to visit guitarforge.com for more guitar lessons. In the meantime, I'll see you again. Take it easy and as always, let the force be with you.